Namaste. This is Mekla here from Pujas.in. I know many of my uh, subscribers always tell me, you don't have to tell your Mekla from Pujas.in every time, ma'am, because we know you now and uh, we've consulted you. We're so familiar uh, with you and things like that. But I know that there are always newcomers and uh, you would definitely want to know who I am. So I'm an astrologer, I'm an astrovedic consultant. And these video sessions are all basically for answering questions of people who have had experiences with me on astrology consultations and also people who generally inquire about astrology. Uh, today's video is actually a very hot topic. Um, I think uh, everybody, whether it's like a dark secret hidden in your heart or uh, whether it's an open secret where you know you just know that and you want everybody to know that you are highly attractive and uh, charming and um, pleasing personality so you know it is nothing but uh, washikaran see uh, what actually happens is that people always ask ma'am how can i become more attractive more pleasing more charming more uh, you know like mm, drop dead gorgeous kind of a personality how do i get that power of attraction See, for power of attraction, there is something called law of attraction. So, uh, there are different planes of existence and each plane is governed by one particular thing. And I am told that uh, the law of attraction belongs to the sixth plane of existence. How well you are connected to the law of attraction determines how attractive you are. Okay, so there are different pujas, different tantric practices. We all know that, uh, especially tantra part, I don't even have to tell you. You are all more well versed in Tantra than me because uh, I, when you ask me for some advice on Tantra or Vashikaran, uh, you actually don't uh, ask for a recommendation. You straight away say, I want to do this. Is it possible? Like that. So, you are all well versed. And I am happy. So, you know why I am happy? Because if you want something and you want to pursue what it is and you determined, so you will do research. You do your homework and then you approach the subject. So the thing is that you are not blind to it and just do something because somebody says, you know, that is a very good habit I can say. I want to appreciate that. So coming to Vashikaran, so exactly what happens in Vashikaran is you need some force from divinity which will propel you to an extent that your aura is cleansed. In what way is it cleansed? That you don't attract negativity and you don't emit negativity. See, there are some people who come to you and you feel like you're getting not getting those good vibes from that person and you just don't uh, want to interact with him or her and you just know that somehow things are not okay, the chemistry is not okay between you and him or her for that matter. So, Vashikaran is something where, uh, where you make sure those vibes which are not okay become alright and uh, whomever you meet, whomever you talk to, they get impressed by you, they are pleased by your personality and um, they acknowledge what you are saying, they listen to what you say. See, this is what is happening, right? Whether it's a mother talking to the child, a teenager. Mother also wants to attract child's attention. Mother wants to make sure the child listens to her. All parents are in that space, right? Mother, whether it's mother or father. Likewise, friends are like that. You know, if your friend is good to you, you're good to the person and you feel that person is your best friend. And if the friend is not good, you feel like, really, this guy or girl is really not up to the mark. And we have a lot of conflicts. We are disagree on too many things. And, you know, maybe we are not meant for each other kind of a situation. We all have faced at different points of time in different sorts of relationships. I'm not talking about only a boy or a girl or marriage or anything alone. Now, Vashikaran is something that you would require even at a corporate level because you're a leader and you should be liked by everyone. So, assuming that you're a leader who whom your um, subordinates hate to listen to, then the performance of the team goes down and your performance as a leader goes down, the efficiency goes down and uh, you're not considered as a good leader at all. So, then again you need that Vashikaran because you need to attract those good vibrations so much so that people start listening to what you're saying. So, uh, this is something that, uh, you know, all age groups have asked me. Right from a second PU, like an um, undergraduate, to uh, somebody who is even 67 years old has asked me this question. How on earth can I attract somebody to listen to me? I want my relative to listen to me. I want my business partner to listen to me. I want my students to listen to me. I want my uh, family to listen to me. 
I want my clients to listen to me. I want my vendors to listen to me, and the list is endless. I'm telling you. So uh, this co combination of people wanting to listen to each other, or just a one-sided thing where you want the other person to listen to you, is a very common aspect that I um, I am aware of, because all aspects of people say that all of them call me and say, "My son is not listening to me. I want to do something where you know whatever I tell, he does." This kind of a <laughs> situation I have experienced with different clients of mine. Thanks to all of you and your wonderful uh, experience uh, with life makes it my experience as an astrologer. Good and bad both. Okay. So now this Vashikaran, I have broadly stated what exactly is the uh, broader aspect and meaning of Vashikaran. So Vashikaran means the law of attraction, the power of attraction basically. You connect to the law of attraction to make sure you gain the power of attraction. See otherwise what happens is you may be a good singer, you may be a good dancer, you may be a good performer, you may be a good uh, entrepreneur, everything is fine. You are highly skilled, you are highly talented but you don't attract money, you don't attract people, you don't attract appreciation, you don't attract attraction. So what happens is people will say so what if he is good? So what if he is a perfectionist? So what? So what? And they try to be away from you. So the thing is, one thing is the personality traits has to change in your end. Which is like, you know, you have to let go of negative traits like anger or resentment and fears uh, and uh, rigidity. And you should develop attributes like creativity, pleasing personality, being more forgiving more loving and more compassionate so that's when people will start appreciating and your vibrations change but on a puja level on a spiritual level and on the level of doing some remedies where you can develop this power of attraction is through one of the most popular pujas for career which we recommend which is the Raja Shyamala Homa see Raja Shyamala or Raja Mataki both are the same there, it is one of the Dasha Mahavidyas, that is the, one of the 10 great cosmic forces of the Divine Mother, Adi Parashakti. And uh, one of these 10 forces, one of it is Raja Matangi, and or uh, she is also known as Raja Shyamala because she is bluish black in color. So she is Shyamala, Raja Shyamala. And uh, she was born to Matanga Rishi, and that is why she is known as Matangi. And uh, praying to her is like getting the whole just connecting to the law of attraction. So what exactly happens when you do the Raja Matangi Homa, which we recommend for people who are facing issues in their career particularly because they need divine grace in a, in a major way. They need divine grace to attract different categories of people. They need to attract the seniors, the juniors, the person who is interviewing them and then once they get the job, uh, the decision makers, then they actually have to become successful, prove themselves in their career and achieve success. So we normally recommend this for people who are struggling in their careers. But at the same time, we also recommend this to anybody who wants to attract anyone and everyone, okay, in a very healthy, divine way. Okay, so now what is this Raja Matangi uh, Homa all about and what are the benefits of this? So like I said, through the Shri Vidya Paddhati, we perform, uh, our priests perform this Homa of Raja Matangi and uh, she also attained the form of Madurai Meenakshi is what is believed and uh, Devi Ma as Raja Rajeshwari, she makes sure that she, you get everything possible through the government, whether it's the policy change or something favorable or something is stuck in with the government, some papers are not moving, that will be done. And I am one of the Bijakshara's used in the mantra is so powerful that it will help you develop creativity, your entire brain gets charged and your thinking is empowered, you, you become so creative and intuitive that you can sense things and you come out with the best best ideas, you have the presence of mind, you have uh, common sense which is really not common these days. So Aim gives you that potent power of creation. What is Hreem? Hreem is also a part of the mantra. See I am not supposed to tell you the mantra because I have not received it as Diksha from my Guru and uh, if I just tell you also it's just like uh, like I am talking to you now. So there is no point in me telling because it has a lot of Vijakshara's and it has to be recited in a certain way. But I want to tell you 
the potent power it has. So it also has this Bijakshara called Hreem. Now Hreem is a very powerful Shakti mantra uh, of B or Bijakshara I can say, which is uh, giving you the power of action which gives you the power of uh, consolidating what you think. See, just thinking a lot of ideas is no good. You also need to implement it into a reality. That is possible through Hreem. Then there is power of Kleem, which is Kali's power. So, Kleem is basically what the power of uh, attraction. She gives you immense power of attraction. I will do another separate video on Kleem later. Because I did a sadhana of 1 lakh, uh, I think 1 lakh 25,000 or something. I did, I think, or 1 lakh for sure I did because it's been quite a few years since I did that and after I did that the effect was so amazing the power of attraction was just so amazing so uh, I have a first hand experience I'll do another video on that coming back to this uh, so it has clean so which has the power of that power of attraction then uh, Om Namo Bhagavati Matangeshwari is we are praying salutations to her and there's a Bijakshara called Shreem also which is nothing but power of Lakshmi so you make up uh, you have an idea the concept becomes a reality through Hreem and then that Hreem will get you Shreem which is money wealth conversion into prosperity because an idea gets converted into a, pros a reality it should get you money it should give you ROI in your language if I have to say so that ROI is Shreem and then Sarva Raja Vashakari. So Sarva Raja Vashakari means what exactly happens is through government agencies, all the initial hiccups, uh, whatever you face, whether it's patents or trademarks or setting up your office or uh, incorporation or uh, MOU, MOA, whatever it is connected to the, the work, the paperwork, everything gets very smooth, the contracts. Everything is smooth. Sarva Stri Purusha Vashakari. This has this. I am not telling you in the order deliberately because I don't want to give you the mantra. Okay. So, it attracts all men and all women. And Sarva Dushta Mriga Vashakari. So, what is Sarva Dushta Mriga Vashakari? Is basically, it will attract people and tame them in a way that you are, even if they have wild thoughts uh, of deceiving you, cunning, conniving thoughts, that will also change. See, because now, you should understand in today's context that you don't go to the jungle and fall in, uh, I mean, you know, fall prey to a wild animal like that. But even if you do, that is also going to be taken care of by Ma, Matangi. However, in today's world, most of them face this problem of actually getting stuck with people who are very bad and they have immense problems because of Shatrubhada. So that is also addressed. Sarva Loka Vashakari. Sarva Loka Vashakari means the entire universe is attracted to you. That's how some people become celebrities, no? Because the entire universe knows them. They don't. Need, they need no introduction. They don't have to say, uh, "I am Mekla from Pujas Dot In." They just show themselves, and their face will tell. This is Mekla from Pujas Dot In. Like that. I'm just giving an example. Then Trilokyam Me Vashamane Swaha means uh, let all the three worlds be attracted to you. All the gods, all the goddesses, be attracted to you. All the animals be attracted to you, the lower worlds, the, all the human beings be attracted to you of this world. So let everybody be attracted to you. Sarva Sattva Vashakari. So what happens is you let me you attract goodness in everyone. The good. So even if they have negative intentions, when they come to you, they feel like, I think I should do something nice for them. So that is Sarva Sattva Vashikari. So you bring out the goodness in them. You bring out the goodness in you. So there's only goodness everywhere. Then what else is there in this? Uh, yeah, Sarva Jana Manohari, Sarva Mukha Ranjini. So Sarva Jana Manohari is basically you're so pleasing that everybody loves you. And Sarva Mukha Ranjini means when you uh, present yourself, you present yourself with so much stages or glow that it's it just um, enchants others. Okay, and even if you say something, people listen. Sarva Mukharanjani also means whatever you speak, whatever you utter, that becomes the uh, Veda Vakya for them. So they listen to it and they feel like listening to you. You don't have to convince them, you just have to state and then they listen. So this is generally in a very short nutshell I am saying, this is the the whole essence of the mantra and it has several repetitions and then when we call her through the right ways of pujas and um, shoda shopachara and everything and then we just offer this to her amazingly she'll help you with uh, or you know that law of attraction 
connection to the law of attraction and she will empower you with the power of attraction. So people who have done this puja, please have faith that this is exactly what is going to happen and people who intend to do the puja, do it soon so that you are able to enjoy the benefits of this puja in this particular way. So uh, we have a lot of Vashikaran mantras, we have some tantric products as well. But uh, this video is about Raja Matangi or Raja Shyamala Homa. It's dedicated to the Divine Mother as Raja Shyamala or Raja Matangi. So in case uh, you need any further clarification, you can WhatsApp me on my number, you know it. 9880139091 thank you so much namaste